Well, we're back, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Dusky and I have a treat for you. I mean, I think what you've done with this recipe is so awesome because it's a pineapple upside down cupcake. cupcake. <laughs> Instead of a cake, I just love this. And the ingredients in a recipe are so unique. You're gonna have fun making it. So let's get started. Let's show them how to do it. This is yeah. cool. Okay. So the first thing is we have to make a caramel to put in the bottom of each of our cupcake liners. And you could actually do it in a cupcake pan, but this is how we do it in And we restaurant. have liners at home, you know, like the paper ones. Could we yeah, use yeah, those too? Yeah, yeah, you could too. Okay. If they're the ones with the foil, like you can do free form. There's foil liners that yes. have a paper on yes. the inside. You could do the same thing yeah. with those. Okay. Yeah. The holders is probably the best though. Yeah. Spray them, by the way. We should tell them that because we yeah. always make sure you spray them with a little bit of a non-stick spray. Non -stick. Yeah. You okay. got it. This is the surefire caramel. Sure fire caramel. You heard that? The recipe's on our website. You know where she works. <laughs> this better comes here because I really like to make it. And you said anybody can do it. It's very easy. It's you can't mess it up. Okay. All right. I mean I I hope not. <laughs> I'm like, Depends on who's making I'm it. Like, no. it does, no, but this is already partially caramelized. As you'll see, it's really, really fast. Right. And it, it does not crystallize. I mean, now, I think you'd have to do something wacko. Wacko. Now, with the brown sugar, for those of you that don't know, the difference between the two is there's a little molasses in it. So um, that's what gives it that color, which probably is why it doesn't burn Delicious. as easily. Yeah. So we're just going to let this simmer away for about four minutes or so. Okay. And I'm just going to be here to agitate it. That's all you need to do That's with it. That's all you need to do. And then basically once it's simmered for four minutes, we're going to add a tiny bit of cream. That's all we got to do. And I mean, that's it. You're not going to stand over it and stir it and make sure it doesn't burn. I mean, you're pretty... No, while we're letting that do that, why don't we do the pineapple? Yeah, let's. we're going to show you so, guys how to cut this for this recipe. So here's a little pineapple. And we take the top and the bottom off. And that, that's one key about cooking is always get a flat surface. If on, something yeah. is rounded and you let it roll, it'll you'll hurt yourself. I always try and tell people that so, with watermelon too, because yeah. it, it's in and it, itself round. Mm, so pumpkins you, and all yeah, that. You've got to yeah. get the flat surface. So then we just come in and follow That's follow these perfect. holes. I think a pineapple upside down cake. I love it so much because it reminds me of like Hawaii's relaxing and the You're taste on vacation. is so good. Yeah. You're on vacation in Sonoma County in a, in a winery with your little cupcake. So then I just cut out the core, which I actually like I to snack on. I love the core. I like to snack yeah. on that too. Chris Vasconcellos, yeah. a friend of mine, likes that core too. Yeah, it's good. It's just it's eat crunchy. on it and on it, yeah. They actually use the core of the pineapple for candy. Do they? Yeah. Wow. So then I just do a little dice. Now, we've talked a little bit earlier about um, the brolamine in pineapple and how it can be used as a meat tenderizer. Do you ever marinate with pineapple? I would marinate prawns. I haven't done meat very much. Okay. Chicken. Challenge is Chicken on. Chicken. Would be good. Yeah, let's try it. All right. Not today, but we'll right. get one to, go get, to you. Go yeah. get some. I guess there's three other things that are special about the cake batter are right. the cardamom, which is uh, Indian spice. Yes. That is really floral and aromatic. That's in the batter. And the batter also has cornmeal in it instead of all AP, so that you get a nice little crunch. Now, we've made the batter earlier, and let's talk about the ingredients that were in here. Obviously, the flour and the cornmeal. Flour, cornmeal, uh, baking powder and cardamom, and okay. salt. Right, uh, two eggs. Two eggs, some vanilla. Butter and sugar. That's, That's it. it. Very, very, very easy. simple. But you could use a cake mix and just add a little pinch of cardamom. Oh, look this at that! This is the point where it's it's kind of foaming. I don't know. Yeah, you I can, would freak out because I'd go, "Hey, is perfect. this burning?" No, that's what you but want. So you need a bigger pan than is perfect that that is just the size because it's going to foam up when I add this. Are you okay, guys ready? Yeah. All right. So we do a little whisk. Wow! Listen to that. Wow! And it's done. It's done. That's caramel. Wow. You got some apples. You could use this for caramel yeah. apples. Yeah. Any way you use caramel, this recipe could be used for. So it. easy. See okay, how so it's easy on our website. Yeah. All right. So then, just pour a little in the bottom of each liner. But don't let your kids do that part. It's so too hot. Then we sprinkle, and I've done this actually with cherries and rhubarb. So. Oh, nice. It's flexible. Sprinkle your pineapple on the bottom of each one. So really, any fresh fruit. I mean, I'm sure you could do it with peaches, cherries. Rhubarb would be delicious. Yeah, it's good with, we, we've done it rhubarb and cherries in the spring. And then the cake batter, does it just go inside? Yeah, just a dollop on, like a healthy spoonful on top of each one. So it's gonna rise. Tell me if this is too much. Is that I would even right? do a little bit more. Would like you? it does rise, but be I generous. like it full. But you can see like this one overflowed a little bit, tiny yeah. bit, doesn't matter. They go in the oven for how long? 350, about 35 minutes until it's uh, set, which you can tell by touching the top. 
Okay. It shouldn't show decompression. All right. So if it doesn't bounce back, it, yeah, you want to. Thank you. Right? That's a nicer way to say it. If it doesn't bounce back, <laughs> that's what you want. And then. And Let's talk about taking it out of the tin. So the deal is I run a knife on the inside around when it's hot. This one is not hot, so I can't show you exactly. But when it comes out of the oven, you run a knife around, and then you turn them out, and you want to turn them out. Wow, this one did come out. <gasps> lucky See? you! I got lucky. How about that? Uh, so generally, you need to turn them out while they are warm because the caramel will stick to the bottom. Look at how but beautiful that lucky. is. Oh no, you got lucky. And so if they, and if you ever have any problem with them sticking in here, don't worry about it. Just take a little spoon and spoon them back on top. Right, and it look at matter. the pineapple, the caramel, and there of course so is your batter. Yeah. So good, the substitute is you can use any fresh fruit that you like. The caramel, you can use it in a multitude of ways. And of course the batter, you can make it from scratch like we did, yeah. or use the box if you need to for a fast and easy recipe. My husband is gonna make a little cardamom gelato with you uh, that, that could go on top, but also if you were really taking out a picnic, you yeah. could either just eat it just like this, or you could make some cardamom whipped cream. Ooh, yeah. And just yes. do a little dollop. All right, how <laughs> fresh and easy is that? I can't <laughs> wait to dig in. Dusky, <laughs> thank you for making these. Yeah, you have to wait till the, the ice cream's ready. Wait till the ice cream. Let's see a bunch of them. Do we have a finished plate? Let's check it oh, out. Oh, we do. Here's how a we whole do, we bunch do, of them look. You gotta eat them with ice cream, so ah. you still have to wait. There we go, <laughs> look at that. That's all we want, that looks perfect. We're gonna go to a quick commercial break, but we'll be right back. Dusky, these are so cool. I love this idea. <laughs> Very fun and easy.